Hello my dear students warm welcome to our e-learning science class i know you all are eagerly waiting for our session is it children so be safe and be happy every time a very good morning to all my dear students hope you all are safe dear students in our last science class we discussed about our earth and different types of layers what are the different types of layers children did you remember that one yes of course then say together what are they yes what are the children first layer outermost layer of the earth we called as yes one shiga what is the outermost layer of the earth yes absolutely correct that is crust okay crust then middle layer that we call second layer or middle layer of the earth which we call yes at if that is mantle very good m for middle layer and third layer of the earth which is a third layer children all should have to say together amna ihsan rizwana they all are saying very loudly what it is children yes core okay so what are the three different layers of the earth we discussed yes that are the most layer we call crust and middle layer we called mantle and last layer or innermost layer we call it as core okay so these are the three different layers of the earth and features of this layers and also drawing also we done in our last class hope you all done that activity in your notebook drawing of the layers of the earth and also labeling the parts okay and now i can see some students picture they colored it very nicely right very good okay in this class i'm going to ask some question to you okay after that only we can start our class at outside children it's that time right very hot right children sometimes only rain is coming now it is very hot and it's day time also right children why these changes are happening every day there is day and night will be there right children also sometimes seasons also changing like summer season or winter season or rainy season like that is coming is it children why this movement is happening or why this change is happening because of the movement of our earth okay movement of the earth these all are happen so in this class i'm going to teach you about movement of the earth let's check it so students in our childhood onwards we are learning like that earth is moving around the sun right children or earth is revolving around the sun these also we are learning from our childhood onwards is it now let's check about how earth is moving around the sun okay so listen here children suppose this is our sun okay this is our sun okay children and here at correct position earth is revolving around the sun so you have to imagine our earth is this okay which is revolving around the sun okay this is revolving around the sun okay we can see the sun and earth here right actually the earth rotates or we can call it as a spins okay earth rotates or spins around an invisible axis this is invisible axis okay which rotates or spins around an invisible axis this is axis okay this axis is actually an imaginary line which is passing through the earth so an imaginary line we called it as axis which is passing through the center of the earth and this movement we called as rotation we called as rotation okay we called as rotation it's very important i will explain you okay so when an imaginary line or axis is passing through the center of its axis earth axis it spins or revolve around its own axis that 
movement we call rotation so the term rotation means it spins around at the same place okay. it takes the earth about 24 hours to complete one rotation from here to here moving 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 earth is moving and it, when it is reached here it takes 24 hours okay it is moving day and night is causing can you clear it somebody's faces i can feel they are still in confusion right children yes what happened miss i have one doubt how is day and night cause listen children when earth is moving okay when the earth is moving around the sun sometime rays of the sun directly falls in here this side maybe north or south pole okay this side okay when it is moving sometime sometimes south pole become here okay so what happened children when earth is rota revolving earth is we know that earth is rotating around the sun okay and sometime this north pole this part become very hot because near to the sun when earth is coming near to the sun only that part is hot and it become day okay and other parts that become night okay children like this when it is revolving around the sun day and night is coming every rotation every rotation of the earth which cause day and night day on one side of the earth day on one side of the earth that is facing the sun when earth half half part of the earth which is facing the sun that part is day okay and night on the other side of the earth here night because this part is not facing into the sun is it children this part is not facing to the sun only this part is directly facing to the sun so here it is day here it is night okay friends now we understand how day and nights are formed because of rotation clear listen students the earth is not only spins around its own axis like we already told earth is spins around on its own axis that's correct but also it revolves around the sun earth is revolves around the sun that we called as revolution that we call revolution okay do you know children the earth completes this is our earth right the earth completes one revolution it's moving 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 and here also our earth is there it's moving moving and it completes its one revolution around the sun in 365 1 by 4 days or we can call it an year okay so earth completes one revolution around the sun in 365 1 by 4 days or one year okay actually this revolution will cause changes in or variation in our temperature uh, weather and seasons okay so revolution causes changes in our seasons but rotation which cause changes in our day and night here all of you somebody have doubts regarding day and night and seasons what happens yes miss about day and night is clear but i have confusion about our summer and winter seasons how are seasons cause it miss yes very good question listen all of you why rotating around its own axis and earth also moves earth also move around in a fixed orbit is it this movement we call revolution clear so seasons are actually because of earth revolution around the sun when earth is moving from here to here 
and from here to here from here to here season of the different places okay here some different continents are there here also different continents are there so different places of seasons also changing when when earth is revolving around the sun okay now it is clear all of you it's clear miss yes it's clear miss yes it's clear miss now it's clear miss it's clear miss okay happy to hear that okay student so let's check the some differences between rotation and revolution okay students what are the two important movement of the earth that is rotation and revolution rotation and revolution let's check the differences between these two we know that one rotation is equal to one rotation that is equal to what children one rotation is equal to 24 hours is it but one revolution one revolution is equal to how many children that is 365 one by 4 days or we can call it as one year okay then what is the next different that is because of rotation day and nights are happening because of rotation clear then because of revolution seasons are happening or like changes or variation in weather temperature and season okay then actually what is rotation children when earth is revolve or spin its own axis that we called what children rotation okay but when earth is moving around the sun okay earth is moving around the sun that process around the sun and it take one complete revolution okay that we call revolution clear all of you so so these are the main differences between rotation and revolution from the picture you can easily understand you all should have to read the chapter at least three times and draw the diagram from your textbook into your notebook okay and can i need to ask one question what is the card for today so few question you know that okay so let's check on the board you can understand and within one hour you have to send to me personal whatsapp and we can meet in our next class